Hey love bugs, it's Roslyn back at you one more again. I hope everybody's doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already dropped the line, I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of this video. And the video I'm doing right now is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, the boat is being rocked. The whole uh, holes are being drilled. And your power in God and yourself, uh, your light, is your lifeline and your safety net. It's true. You know, it's like, everybody will say I'm a 70s baby. So I'm like, don't rock the boat, baby. <laughs> you know, like one of those things. You know, you are the captain of your yacht. You're the captain of your ship. You know, no matter how it is, big, small, little, tall, you are. And this is where it shows you, you know, allow yourself to know your circle and know them well. You know, allow yourself to, you know, there are certain things that doesn't need to be mentioned. There are certain things that don't need to be said. You know, your past experiences are your teacher for your present. You know, and it's your cheerleader for your future. You know, you're all going through these things. We all had to be betrayed. We all had to be loved. We all had to be taught. We had to be uh, decept. You know, things. You know, been placed in decep deception. You know, um, that was going around. You know, be different things in your life where you know you can be at that one point where you just really hate everything and everybody that you know came into your life that really just stabbed you in the back, and you could have been that kindest person. And a lot of times, you you have to really understand that that has nothing to do with you that has a lot to do with other people it, it doesn't prove your character it just only shows shows you the truth of theirs and you have to still appreciate that you know there's so many different things that's happened to your life where it tells you even through the good and the bad allow yourself to be grateful for that show appreciation to it because it it, it gave you strength to overcome it gave you life lessons that you know that you can take with you you know allow yourself to release Whatever that is that has taken place, but allow yourself to get that life lesson that is taking you towards that next level. You know, and these are the things, you know, when people cannot be the captain of your ship, you know, I've seen this post, it remind me of this post it had where you have to be careful your circle because just because people start drilling holes in your, you know, in your boat just because they can't be the captain, you know. And there's a lot of times there's people in your life that really, you know, have good intentions for you, really wants to see you grow. You know, they see the vibrations that you have and they see how much you've been through and they really even be praying, you know, actually praise for your come up. They actually pray for the blessings they see you deserve just because the fact is they've seen how much you've gone through. But there's also a lot of people that will wish the worst on you. They feel like whatever you got going on in your life, they're deserving of it. You you don't. It's like, you know, you've gone through so many different things in your life um, to where they feel like, how are you still walking? How are you still smiling? How are you still laughing? How can you still be helping people for everything that has been placed on you? But that's just how your soul is. We got a stubborn heart with a brave soul. You know, there's so many different things that you have had to face. And, and from that, uh, tragedies that has constantly went on into your life. You know, it shows you so much about yourself. It showed you the strength that you carry, determination you have. You know, there's a lot of times you have to understand you don't face and overcome different things. Uh, hold on. Sorry about that. Y'all, my daughter, my granddaughter's here. Um, yeah, we go through so many different things where um, you have to understand there's a lot of things that you have faced, you have overcome. Uh, you have, you know, just really went through that a lot of times people would have yeet the other way. You know, um, and certain things that um, takes place that really, it could have made somebody, you know, really go to a dark place and it didn't with you, you know. So these are the things that's molding you to become the best version of yourself. And, you know, and for us to be able to get strength, we will have a lot of, you know, extra things that can be very, I mean, very extra in our lives, you know. Because a lot of times it's like when God said he got something prepared for you and prepared big, you already know it's not going to be easy to connect with. It's not. It's not going to be easy to connect with. But these are the life lessons they showed you. You know, you had to go through. You know, um, not everybody that smiles in your face ain't your friend. You know, they say whatever bad person to go to jail is not, you know, I mean, every person to go to jail is not a bad person. Every person to go to church ain't a good person. These are all the different things where they're showing you in life where harshness came in. It built you. 
you know it made you and broke broke you but it's just the fact is you you had to go through these experiences because you're moving you're opening doors that you, you know you never went to you know never you know got it towards you know you you seeing people come to you because that vibration there's something about you that's very you know attractive there's something that, that's very magnetic you know you got that vibration that people want to pick your brain they be like i want a taste of that cerebellum you know those type of vibrations where you really got that vibration of where you know people can tell dang that person i've been through a lot but how they keep themselves up how they move how they articulate how they speak how they speak to other people you know these are the different things that's really helping these are the things that's really strengthening you know you had to be able to explore you know these dark moments to get to the you know the brightest you know situation hold on just a second come on granddaughter keep talking Sorry about that, y'all. I had to do something with my granddaughter real quick. But, yeah, you go through all these different things in your life. And, you know, it's like every, you know, they always say a new level, different devil. You're going to be dealing with different stuff like that. And it's just like when you uh, allowing your, when you are allowing yourself to go through that clean, it's like an empath turnover. That's what I call it. When you allow yourself to see, you know, what certain things are just not benefiting you to your highest good, you'll start, you know, it even be the choices of hobbies you tend to do, uh, the food that you eat, how you think about certain things. It could be different things that'll make you go back, like a situation may come up that happened back in the day or whatever, or it could have been something recently. And you'll see it, and it's just like where it's allowing you to see did you did you learn the lessons from those situations? Um, are you allowing yourself to get peace from that situation? It brought so much strength. And soul lessons that you needed, you know, you're cutting tides, soul tides, you're, you know, you're cutting uh, generational curses, you know, karmic cycles, you know, and different things is going to be coming into your life where it's going to be history is going to repeat itself. Different people in your life that, you know, just really that you already know wasn't even meant to be, but it, it needed to be that that situation, that person that taught you so much because that's all we're doing. You know, because a lot of times somebody come in your life and I, when I say they emulate everything that you're going through, it's just the fact is that person has a, a piece of the puzzle that you needed for yours. And they, you have a piece of puzzle for them that they needed for theirs. And then when y'all finally realize that lesson that needs to be learned, you know, that connection breaks off. And a lot of times we may not understand why that happened. You know, all of a sudden, you know, you could be cool with this person and the daggone, you know, the vibration shift. And it was just like, you know, that person... Uh, or that situation has, you know, ran its course. Now it's time to go on. And it'll be different things when you know you ready to, you when you start to really mean business, you'll allow yourself to keep moving. Even besides all eyes are going against you in that moment, that day, that time, you know, that level. And you're allowing yourself to still keep going. There'll be different things that you know may scare the heck out of you. That you don't, you, you scared to go through. But you'll be brave enough to just go through it or you'll connect with it even if you may not understand what it's going through and this is what they're showing you you'd be surprised you know that's why i always say you know do things differently or do things uh that may scare you because you'll end up finding out about something in yourself that was that hidden gem that you didn't know about yourself and these are the things that you're showing you know life is precious time is precious you know you're being very selective and this is where you know you're, you're spiritually maturing you know, you'll see different things that you already know that is not, it, this is stunting your growth. That situation is stunting that growth. That memory is stunting that growth, you know, and allowing yourself to see that and you, you, you know, it may have really hurt you, you know, on that situation or it may have triggered you in some kind of way. And it's just like, it's allowing you to know you're set free from that. And a lot of times we don't realize that we're free from those different things because we still, you know, we cling on to a lot of different things that out of fear <laughs> you know it would be out of fear because we, we scared that this may happen again you know you may be um on that journey of finding your you know your kingdom husband you know your kingdom spouse you know and there may be a, a interaction where it's showing you you know this can happen with you and this could happen with that person and all of a sudden you start thinking about all the different things that has taken place you know, in an old relationship, but this is a, those things you, you had to go through those moments. You had to be able to heal from those moments and be grateful for those things that's taken place because it gave you growth in so many different ways. It gave you growth in so many different ways. And it, it's just like with other people, you know, just a lot of times we feel like we're not understood. 
You know, people don't understand what we're going through when we speak. We're not speaking a language that they know. There's a lot of times that you will see things at a deeper level, and then people will be looking at you like, "What's going on with them? Are you all right? You know, we didn't. You, you know, are you okay?" And it's like, "Yeah, I'm just woke." You know, oh gosh, I must be on a on a uh, on a okay. Uh, all right, <laughs> thanks, Holy Spirit. <laughs> and I say I must be on some good right now. Like, keep on staying it. Talk on that vibe. You know, you're going through many different things into your life and you at that vibration where you ain't got time to be entertaining things that is like disruptive to your soul it's like that stuff right there and you have to be looking at it like this that that vibration to maybe give me the bubble goods I, I just can't deal with it and you have to be at that vibration if it is not nurturing me it's not you know uh propelling me is not ca catapulting me if it ain't moving me to my highest good if this is not like a tickle to my soul to make me feel like i'm on an ultra spiritual high that i don't want to come down at that is worth my time and it's like and time can't be wasted because it don't exist but in that sequence i'm not wasting it on something that is not going to be important i'm not going to waste it for something that is going to keep me stuck or stagnant you know and that means you have to be brave about that stuff you know that, you know, because a lot of times we feel like we can't make it on our own without certain people, you know. And a lot of times we feel like that, and you know, your higher self is like, is that person oxygen? You can make it just fine. You know, if they took them out, that that was meant to be. If it was meant to be, they'll come back. But everybody's going on an initial healing. That's just like on a twin flame situation. You know, y'all finally get into that contact where you, you're identifying yourself. And I know there's a lot of people that come to me and they're like, Rosalind, I thought this was my twin flame that I was with. And come to find out it wasn't. Or they, you know, they coerced me to make me think they were my twin flame. And no, that wasn't it. It's just fact is everybody has a twin flame. Everybody do. You got that one person you willing to change your whole life for. There'll be different things that it was a deal breaker with other people. But that one you were like, I'm going to take that chance. You know, I'm, I'm going to be there for that person. You know, I'm going to lift them up while they're, they're lifting me up. You're going through those different things. And it's just the fact that sometimes the person that you're with that's not actually your twin flame. That was their, their vibration that had to get you into that connection to let you know you're on a twin flame journey. You know, it's just not with them. Those false twin flames are preparing you for that twin flame journey. Actually, that's where it starts off is with them. Because a lot of times we feel like there's only one twin flame. That's not true. You know, there's levels of twin flames. You know, you're going through that moment where you pick people that emulate you in so many different ways. You may That, that person may have daddy issues. You have daddy issues. That person may have uh, mommy issues. You have mommy issues. That person got uh, codependency vibrations. You got codependency vibrations. Every level you're meeting a twin flame that mirrors that unhealed version of you. Until you get to that ultimate twin flame to where God, that's where God designed for you and mine. You know, into that. But you had to go through those stages of healing through the almost, you know, twin flames will bring out the depths of different things about you that can really rock your soul. It's like it drives me crazy. But I love this person. I can't live without him. Like, you, you, you know, you become a fiend for them. You know, but these are those things that, you know, when you know you're serious about this, there will be changes that you feel like you cannot change. But then you start noticing you leap in bounds in ways like, you know what, this is not, this is stagnating me. I'm not allowing myself to be stagnant for nobody because, you know, push come to shove. My mom always used to tell me this. Don't be mad because of what somebody else don't do that you did do. But don't sit up here and give up your blessings because the first time, you know, people see you with blessings, they'll do anything to make you destroy it, make you feel like it ain't going to happen, whatever. But those are blessings in disguise to let you know you can do it. There's something very big in you. There's something very beautiful in you, you know, and those are the things that really take you there. And that's why they always tell you, make sure you pay attention to the things that's in your circle. You don't know. There's a lot of times where they say that your enemy can see, see your potential before you do. You know, they see that light before you do. That's the reason why a lot of times they make you doubt yourself. You know, your mind is a very powerful weapon. You know, your greatest power is that you are you. Nobody else can be you. They can mimic you in any kind of way. They can play single white female, single black female, single male, single white male. You know, all those different things. They can mirror you all the way heck they want to, but they can never be you. You know, and those are the things that they're showing you. You had to have things taken from you to be able to understand you know what is already given you know no matter what people do is already given 
um, being able to allow yourself, even when they didn't love you, this is showing you where your love, you know, your love and ends and begins is within you. You know, these are the things that showed you how to love yourself. These are the things that help you recognize your worth. This is where you had to be independent. You knew, you know, you know what you brought to the table because you were the table. You know, you were the author of your book. You're the co-creator of your own blueprint. And you're guiding towards those structures that wasn't solid before. And mess was, it was untrustworthy. It was like some of it was like over here, then over here. Now you're building that solid situation where you're being choicy. Being very choicy. And a lot of times people will call you arrogant, conceited. Oh, you all about yourself. You acting like you brand new or you know you better than other people. No. You know, even when you walk off from people that, you know, that you, you really care for, you know, and when you get into that, that best time of your life, there's a lot of time people like, oh, you know, they will switched up on us. No, you know, it's just that, that vibration that you carried made me switch up, you know, and I still appreciate you, you know, you, you can still love people, but love them from a distance. You know, there'll be times I even did it. I can remember somebody and I'll reach out and call knowing good well, like, what are you doing? We took that person out of your life and you going right back? Why do you keep doing that? You only hurting your own self and you wonder why your life is so miserable. You know, and knowing they didn't have nothing good in my life. But it was just the fact is I got so lonely without certain people in my life. I was willing to open back a door that God told me to leave shut. Now, I'm okay with being by myself. It can feel very lonely, but I know I'm not alone. You know, this gives me my time to focus on me. It allows me to, you know, not to allow myself to... Uh, lose the advantage of making myself a better person creating something better for me you know allowing myself to be very selective about energies I entertain you know allowing myself to be very observant when things are trying to get me out of my vibration of peace you know seeing those life lessons and appreciating it you know and if somebody is out there trying to go out their way to hurt you you know and you know do different things you, you really trying to go down a long list of why what made you what what made that person do that it's just because you moving on you you allowing yourself to heal you're allowing yourself to see things for what they truly are but it's just the fact is you not having a bad taste in your mouth about it because you become very appreciative of that you know there'll be times where you may hate something or hate situations or you hate a person they always tell you don't do that that's harsh you putting your power in somebody when you say you hate them but when you can allow yourself to say, you know, I appreciate you. I benefited off of that heartbreak. Or I benefited off of, you know, how you stabbed me in my back. Or I benefited off of what you did this, that, and a third to me. Because it allowed me to create something within myself that I know that will never happen again. And I appreciate that because you showed me different signs I need to look for when other people try to do that. You know, trusting in my own instincts when that is like my soul, my intuitive. You know, this, that, and the third is giving me that, that, that intuitive to be able to hitting them daggone caution signs or something that's toxic and I, I'm riding by that like oh I can't touch that being very selective about what you choose to select to choose to make the choice that is chosen <laughs> you know it's like one of those things you know you have to be able to do that just like sometimes you know say something just to see if it's going to come back to you it don't even have to be the truth but just say something to somebody and just see how it come back to you you always say <laughs> you know you don't understand what a leak at but you know you're going through different things like that where you are the captain of your your, you know, your your boat, your yacht, you know, your cruise line, all those different things. They tell you, be careful of the circles you keep, you know. And a lot of times, you just don't know the reason why you're in solitude, you're in isolation. Like they said, it's, you can be lonely, but you are never alone. It's going to feel lonely, but they tell you, don't be so alone in your vibration where you're making drastic measures to bring somebody in your life that can really corrupt, your, your, you know, where you're being led to. You know, and those are those things that's showing you appreciating the things that you've been taught with that. You, if you, you would have never known, you know, you, you, you know, a lot of times you look back and you'll be happy those things happen the way they happen. You know, you'll be happy when God didn't open those doors exactly when you felt like you were ready to. You know, a lot of times you can be able, you have to understand, there will be some times when we get impatient, we try to make moves on our own to force a door open. And God, like, that's not the way I wanted that, you know, and the way you may try to orchestrate something to open up because you're, you're getting uncomfortable, or you're getting impatient, or you're tired of being in a certain situation, you're tired of, be, tired of being around certain, you know, vibrations around you. They, they telling you when you manipulate stuff, even when it's being manipulated with you, it's not going to work out. 
you know, for the enemy. And it's not going to work out for you either. But it's just that time when you take your time and not worry about what other people are doing or trying to what they're trying to do to you. You stay focused on yourself, you know, because, you know, you're protected. You know that God tells you he has blessings for you. He tells you there's there's nothing that can stop that what he has. And that's true. You know, because a lot of times we worry about, you know, oh, you know, if I say this, you know, then this this person going to do this. Or if I do this, this person going to do that. Now, I used to live in fear like that all the time. And it was just at that point, I'm going to do me regardless of what other people don't want me to do for me. I'm going to do for me, you know. I'm going to keep allowing myself to keep going. I'm protected. Anything that happens, it was meant to happen. If not, it's going to be learnt. <laughs> you know, and it's going to be schooled on to that. But when you're allowing yourself to move forward, be selective about what you choose to select in your life. Allow yourself to be very strict on your boundaries. You know, when you mean no, you don't have to give an explanation on why you said no. If you don't want to answer a text, you don't have to answer a text and like now unless it's like a 911 situation <laughs> that's a different story but you ain't got to answer your phone you ain't even got to open your door if you don't feel like being bothered you don't feel like being bothered you don't have to explain that to anybody and when you're allowing yourself to be focused and that means there'll be times that you ain't gonna hang out with certain people you ain't gonna be you know you gonna be giving up on certain things that you know you can't be doing you gonna have to start sacrificing things that was a weakness for you and that includes people too <laughs> you know, you're going to have to make those changes because when you start getting strict with yourself, universe, that's all universe is waiting for. For you to allow yourself to say, uh-uh, if this ain't nurturing to my soul, I just can't do it. You know, if I allow myself to keep thinking about something that's telling me I need to work on that thought, I need to work on forgiving myself, I need to work on forgiving that situation or that person, you know, allow myself to move on. That lesson has already been taught. You know, put that in a file cabinet. Who, <laughs> where it is with the Akashic Records? You know, allow that stuff to go because there's something waiting for you. You know, big things is taking place into your life. That's what I was telling you, the captain. You know, and you're going to have a lot of people that's hating you because they can't be the captain. You know, so allow yourself to understand that. So I hope that, that you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, what I said, uh, I haven't responded to any com comments. Like I said, this was out on a whim that I was doing this. So if I haven't got back to your, your response, please give me patience because it's like this is around my siesta time. But I just, you know, there was something in my spirit that told me I had to make these videos today. And I chose to do that. Now I'm going to go back and rest. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. Much love to you. Peace.